Hello guys, welcome to another interesting yet exhilarating edition of NX Daily Top 5 Sport. At number 5, Johnny Besto's 7th ODI century sees England thumb Pakistan by 6 wickets in Bristol. Johnny Besto's 7th one-day international century helped England thumb Pakistan by 6 wickets in a third ODI to take a 2-0 lead in the first 5-match series. England's opener Besto plundered 15 hours and 5 sixes in his innings, bringing up 3 figures from 74 balls, but one swing too many saw the end of the 29-year-old bowled by Junet Khan by a bottom edge. Imal ul Haq batted with equal poise earlier in the match, reaching a majestic 97 ball 151, and sharing an innings and defining 5th wicket partnership with Asif Ali, with the duo smacking 125 runs off just 90 balls. Besto upped his game depositing Sohail over a long on onto the roof of the pavilion before drilling the ball for a second six in identical fashion before he was finally dismissed for 128. At number 4, Serena Williams' Roland Garros hopes in doubt after an Italian Open withdrawal. Serena Williams has pulled out of the Italian Open due to a persistent knee injury, casting doubt on her participation in the French Open, which begins later this month. Tournament organizers made the announcement the day after Serena opened her clay court season with a straight set win over Swedish qualifier Rebecca Peterson. It is a third straight tournament from which 37 year old Serena Williams has to withdraw due to physical problems. She retired due to a viral illness during a third round match against Gabi Maguraza at Indian Wells and pulled out with a left knee injury before her third round match at Miami Open in March. And at number 3, Stephen Curry scores 36 points as Golden State Warriors hammer Portland Trail Blazers in Game 1 of the West Finals. Stephen Curry and Clay Thompson dominated their matchup with Damon Lillard and CJ McCollum, combining their 12 three-pointers and 62 points in the Golden State Warriors 116-94 victory over the Portland Trail Blazers in Game 1 of the Western Conference Finals. Curry finished with a game high of 36 points and Thompson added another 26 for the Warriors, who won a second consecutive game without a star forward Kevin Durant out with a bruised right car. The Warriors' lead was just 79-73 before the Cook hit up two three-pointers, helping the Golden State go back up by 14, and the three-point discrepancy proved too much for the Trail Blazers to overcome. And at number 2, WWE SmackDown, big win for Adred in the Money in the Bank warm-up match. Adred picked up the biggest wins of his main roster career in the pre-Money in the Bank Fatal 4-Way. Adred pinned Finn Balor in the contest between the four men who make up the SmackDown half of the group who will compete for the briefcase. Randy Orton and Ali were also at the match at the London's O2 Arena, but it was the former NXT champion who came out on top after some superb action between all four competitors. Balor succumbed to the Mexican star's hammerlock DDT, after which Adred made the symbolic journey up the ladder towards the briefcase, which was suspended above the ring. Before he could reach the target, Ricochet is swapping raw for SmackDown on the Wild card rules sprinted out, beating him up the ladder and raising the briefcase himself. And at number one today, Anton Griezmann to leave Atletico Madrid at the end of the season. Atletico Madrid striker Anton Griezmann has announced he will be leaving at the end of the season after five years. The World Cup winner signed a five year contract last June, but Saturday's La Liga match against Levante will be his last for the club. Barcelona will pay the buyout clause in Griezmann's contract of 120 million euros, BBC Sport understands. It's been an incredible five years. Thank you for everything, he said. I wanted to tell all the fans who have always given me something to love that I have taken the decision to leave, to see other things, to have other challenges, the 28 year old said. The Frenchman also scored 133 goals in 256 appearances for Atletico since joining from fellow Spanish outfit Real Solidad in 2014. He has also won the European League, the Spanish Super Cup and the UEFA Super Cup during his time at Atletico and has also been the team's top scorer in each of the last five seasons. And that's it folks on today's edition of NX Daily Top 5 Sports. For more information, all you have to do is follow us across all social media via our platforms via at Extreme, or you can log on to our website right now via www.nigz.tv. <laughs>